Yes. So we've seen the threat to judgment beyond the death penalty. There have been protests around the country this week and last week in response to Michael Brown and Eric Garner's deaths, you know, highlighting police brutality. And, um, as civil rights leaders, I'm wondering what you all make of the inequality in our justice system and this unrest and what can be done. Okay. Before our speaker is answered, um, can you just for the next few seconds and then identify yourself and your outlet? I'm Betsy Klein. I'm with CNN. Well, let me first say that I think the one overarching message is that we have a system of justice where there's no agreement that it's fair. And in that context, we cannot have a punishment as severe as and final as capital punishment. We, if we have no consensus that we can assure ourselves that these issues of race are not influencing our decisions. And then there are others I know who've been working on this. Hillary and Jim. It, it is a demonstration that we have a criminal justice system that needs a full review again. We've not had a comprehensive review of our criminal justice system since the Johnson administration. So that tells you how long it has been. With all the problems that we've experienced, whether we talk about Ferguson, New York, whether we talk about Cleveland, Ohio, in which a 12-year-old was shot to death because of that rush to judgment again. That somehow or another, a 12-year-old boy playing at a playground with a toy gun is a threat to anyone raises real concerns, especially as we apply the issue of race. So there are a number of things that really need to be done. The evaluation needs to be taken into account as well. The data needs to be addressed very specifically as we talk about the mistakes that are made to continue a process along these lines. Recognizing there's a problem and doing nothing different than we've done before, quite frankly, is the clinical definition of insanity. It's time for a change. I'm always struck when a, a lawyer makes a theological statement. So Norman, you said our criminal justice system is fallible, marred by human fallibility. Let me add sinful human behavior. I convened a retreat for faith leaders in Ferguson last week. It had already been scheduled even before the decision was announced. Ferguson's a parable, a parable to a nation. Jesus spoke in parables, and a parable is a story which has a clear message. And the clear message is our criminal justice system is fallible. And our criminal justice system reflects the sinful racial behavior of the society. It's time for white people to listen to black people, white dads to listen to black dads who have the conversation with their kids, with their teammates, their kids' teammates, uh, white pastors to listen to black pastors. Um, we have two different nations living in the same space. And that plays out in the death sentence so painfully and clearly, but it's true at every level of our society. It doesn't matter about class, it doesn't matter about income, it matters about race. This is about race. And so I think it's time to, um, to tell the truth about our society and the experience. Don't move to all lives matter, stay with black lives matter, because all lives are not impacted equally by this criminal justice system. I got two boys, 11 and 16. My 16 year old's a big athlete could be perceived as a threatening kid. When I walked around Michael Brown's memorial with faith leaders, all the black parents knew that could be their kid. All the white parents knew their kid would never be there. We live in two different countries. It's time to tell the truth about that and for white people to listen to black people who all have stories about this system. This capital punishment is unfair, you've heard. It is racist, you've heard. And it's wrong. And I'll say one last thing. I'm tired of white people saying, I'm not a racist. If we accept a system that is operationally racist, then we're guilty of that system too. Don't say as white people, we're not racist, if we accept systems that are. The criminal justice system is racially biased. No one doubts the evidence for that. That makes us responsible. And for the death penalty, this is such a powerful parable, again, 
of our entire criminal justice system. The good thing about Ferguson, it didn't, Ferguson was, was no anomaly. It didn't show something we didn't know, but it's woken up the country. More people now are understanding the parable is true. So Ferguson was nothing new, painfully, but Ferguson has started the new conversation in this country. And if it does, then Michael Brown's life will not be in vain. Thank you.